I've got a girlfriend, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Yeah, I've been together about uh, a year. It's going quite well. Starting to learn new things about relationships. For example, 10 months in, that's when all the mental illness comes out. Uh, <laughs> fucking lunatic. I'll cut her! What? <laughs> the girl in the photo, that's me nan. I don't fucking care. <laughs> she goes near and I'll fucking cut her. We had a good start to our relationship. I think, I think you've got to have a good start, haven't you? To, to get anywhere. Like, I think first dates are important. Like, are, are you guys a couple? Yeah? What's your name, man? John and... John and Tony. And how long have you been together? 16 years. And where did you meet? At work. Cool. And who asked you out? He asked you. And where did you go on your first date? That's the important thing. Something to eat. It's good. Right, here's my theory with first dates. On your first date, you didn't think you were getting 16 years in, did you? And if you did, you'd be a fucking lunatic. Like, <laughs> if you go on a first date and you're like, we're going to be together forever, leave immediately because they're going to kill you in your sleep. <laughs> Restaurant's good. I think first dates, you're trying to seem as fuckable as possible. <laughs> know what I mean? Are you, are you shaking your head? You, yeah. Why? Because that's what relationships should be about. That's not what relationships should be about. Yeah, yeah, but... <laughs> By the way, immediately, I feel sorry for you, mate. <laughs> Is that why you broke an arm? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking do it! It's been six years, Michelle! You're making me point for me. I know that's not what relationships would be about. That's not what I said. I said that's what a first date is about. <laughs> On a first date, he wasn't thinking, this is a relationship, we're going to be together. That's not what he was thinking. And that's not what she was thinking. They were thinking, I want some dick, I want some pussy. <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with it. If you don't think like that, that's absolutely fine. But I think the majority of the room would agree that's what first dates are about, yeah? <laughs> See, it's about seeming as fuckable as possible for the immediate future, okay? And because of that, that's why first dates have got to be relaxed and easy so you can show yourself off. You've got to pretend to be a better person than you are. You do that for a while. Even in relationships. Come in, my room's always tidy and I never fart. He's gone now. <laughs> first dates have got to be fun and relaxed. So there's set, set ones. Like restaurants good, pubs good, cinema's good if you've got no personality. They're all sound. <laughs> Would you agree with that? First dates have got to be relaxed and fun. Yeah. Me and my girlfriend, we went to the slavery museum on the docks, right? <laughs> I'm not lying. What happened was, right, this is the God's honest truth. I did a gig and I started talking to her afterwards and I thought I'm going to ask her out. But I knew when I was asking her, I was punching above my waist. Do you know what I mean? She's better than me. She's like a seven out of ten, swear to God. Right? <laughs> Are you like offended on her behalf or something? <laughs> you haven't seen her? I might be being really fucking generous. Sevens are good for me. I'm like a four or a five with a Snapchat filter. I'm doing okay. <laughs> Do you know what? I'll tell you this as well. This is a separate story, but you can have it, okay? I did, a, I did the Edinburgh Fringe Festival last year. My girlfriend came up for a few days to watch some shows, and she watched mine, and afterwards she comes up to me. She's like, fucking seven out of ten. <laughs> fucking seven out of ten. I went, babe, don't be offended. It's just a joke. Like, literally in the joke, I say that I'm a four or a five at best, so it's fine. And you know, you're not a seven, you're a ten. She's fucking not, but you'd have to lie to them, do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, fucking whatever, fucking seven out of ten, seven out of ten. Later that night, I'm in a bar chatting to a TV producer who books like the comedians for some shows on the telly, right? And I'm trying to get him to come and see me show so that he might use me for some of his TV shows at some point. And he's like, yeah, man, I'll try and make the show. I've heard it's really good. And then he just tries to be a gentleman and get my girlfriend involved in the conversation. He goes, so have you seen a show? She went, yeah. He said, is it any good? She said, I think it's about a seven out of ten, actually. <laughs> <laughs> and I went, what are you doing? She went, babe, don't be offended. If I wrote a show, it'd be like a four or a five at best, so it's fine. <laughs> Anyway, I'm asking her out, right? So, uh, I'm, I'm asking her out, and I went, uh, can I take you out for a drink? And she went, no. <laughs> I went, I'm sorry for bothering you. Um, she went, no, we'll go out. Well, yeah, it's just that I don't really drink. I prefer, like, libraries and museums. I went, oh, me too. <laughs> I 
I love museums, me. She was like, really? I went, yeah. <laughs> I am always in the museum. Now I'm from Liverpool. I wasn't 100% sure we fucking had a museum. <laughs> I'd heard rumors. <laughs> I didn't know for sure. Turns out, I don't know whether you know this, that we've got three. We've got the Whale Museum, the Liverpool Museum, and the Maritime Museum, which is commonly known as the Slavery Museum, right? And it turns out the Slavery Museum spend more than the other two on Google adverts. So when I Googled Liverpool Museum, <laughs> slavery was top of the list. And I didn't think there was others. I just thought that'll be the museum. That's where she wants to go, taking her to this place. We pull up outside, she goes, is this the slavery museum? <laughs> With a tone of voice that suggested there was definitely other ones I should have fucking picked. <laughs> and it now looks like, because uh, I said I go to the museum all the time, it looks like I know about all three museums and chose the slavery museum <laughs> as the one to try and seem as fuckable as possible in. They don't make it easy for you. Before you even get to the slavery bit, I don't know where you've been, right? You'll, you'll know if, uh, if you've been. Before you get to the slavery bit, there's a big entrance for you. In the entrance for you, there's a donations bowl. And on the donations bowl, it says, our staff work for free in the slavery museum. <laughs> it's not a museum if it's still fucking happening, mate. It's a sweatshop and he's shutting down. And we come out, we come out to the museum, and I was like, all right, let's, let's try and salvage this date. So we drove home. I say we drove home, she drove me home. That's how much better than me she is. She's just fucking loads better than me, do you know what I mean? Drives, <laughs> drives us home, pulls up outside, she went, I had fun today. And I thought, well, you're lying, but I'm gonna fucking land you in it now. <laughs> I went, really? So can I take you out again? She went, yeah. I went, I'm not sure you'd understood that question. Um, <laughs> I'd like to go out again sometime. She went, I'd love to go out with you again. I had a really nice time. I went, oh, really? Because I was pretty certain I'd fucked up with the slavery museum. Like, and she went, why? I said, well, here's the thing. I don't go to museums. Wasn't even 100% sure we fucking had one. <laughs> Just Google Liverpool Museum. Turns out there's three. I know that now because I Googled them before when you went to the toilet. And the slavery museum, they must spend more on Google adverts because they're right at the top of the list. And I just thought that's the one you wanted to go to. So that's why I went there and I'm just really sorry. She went, don't be, don't be apologising. The Slavery Museum was the best one to pick for a first date. <laughs> I said, why the fuck would that be the case? She said, because no matter how bad the date was, I would have just been reminded I could have been in a much worse position. 